Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.6. In this video, I'm going to cover the concept of links and passages as they appear within Sugarcube 2.36. Now, if you're coming from another story format or you've used another story format within Twine, those concepts may seem kind of silly to cover. Why have a separate video on those particular concepts? The reason why I want to emphasize those particular concepts with this particular story format is I want to emphasize, among other things, that that particular functionality, links and passages, are not technically required to be supplied by a story format. Now, Sugarcube does supply them and more, but to emphasize that as we learn future story formats, and as you as an author might experience other story formats, keep in mind that what we see in Twine and what a story format provides are sometimes slightly different. And so sometimes it can be useful to think of a story format as a separate programming language. So, as we're talking about links and passages, let's kind of step back and remember those two core concepts to Twine. So what is a passage and what is a link? Well, when we're talking about passages, we're talking about the smallest unit of a story. We compose stories within Twine. Those smallest units are passages. And when we edit a story, we see these as little nodes we can move around on the screen. Now, the arrows moving from one node to another signifies there is a link between them. And we compose links in a sugar cube using three general patterns. The first general pattern is right here. We use two open and two closing square brackets around the name of another passage. Now, if we're editing in Twine and we want to add another passage by simply creating a link, Twine will supply that passage for us. Now, we may not always want to do that, so we can take that back out and notice it will disappear. So the main core pattern that we see while creating links is two opening and two closing square brackets around the name of an existing passage. Or if it doesn't exist yet, Twine will attempt to make it for us. There are two other general patterns for links that we will see within Sugarcube and potentially other story formats. Although, again, note, story formats don't technically have to supply those. So we've seen the first one. Let's look at the second two. The second two are connected together by how symbols are used in relation to each other. And here's what I mean. Let's look at example one. Example one has another passage. This is the thing it's linking to the destination. But notice this example of the minus sign and greater than sign. I am pointing to the destination. So what a reader will see is this text from the two opening square brackets up into the minus sign. And then following in this case, the greater than sign, this will be the destination. So I'm going to go ahead and move the story start over here to example one, and let's go ahead and build and look at this. So if we're looking at this, we see point example. Notice point example appears and then points at its destination. So we see point example, and then we end up at the destination. This is also true of the second example. But notice it's written the other way around. Notice we have the destination, and then we have the text again pointing to the destination. In this case, the less than sign and minus sign together. So in example one, we have the minus and greater than sign. In example two, we have the less than and minus sign. Both of them are completely valid, and it's left up to the author to decide how they want to compose those. So we have three general patterns of how we create links between the smallest units in a story, the passages. So again, keep in mind that even though Sugarcube supplies this, it doesn't technically need to do so. And as you experience other story formats, you may come to learn that they do links and passages slightly differently. But at least as it comes to Sugarcube 2.36, we have three general patterns we can use. We can use the two opening and two closing square brackets around the name of another existing passage. Keep in mind that if we're editing using Twine, that if that passage doesn't exist, it will attempt to create it for you. Two, we can do a pointing towards format where we put text and then we point towards the definition or the destination that is using a minus and greater than sign. Or alternatively, we also see where you can use the destination and then a less than and minus sign and then the text to appear. And in this case, again, points towards the, desti the destination within the link construction. Thanks for watching.